How goes it? I'm Wills Maxwell Jr. and this is What Did We Miss? Here I tell you the stories WWAY did not. Yeah, I told them that's what I wanted to do and they still put me on TV. Two daredevils use jetpacks to fly through Heaven's Gate in China. Is there anything more anachronistic than watching a jetpack fly over a man in a wooden canoe? This looks like a scene from a time travel movie. Heaven's Gate, also known as Tiananmen Mountain, has a natural archway 35 miles wide, making it a perfect target for French stuntmen Fred Fugin and Vince Raffay. The pair leapt out of a helicopter and flew on carbon wings powered by four reactors. They flew up to 238 miles per hour. That's fast enough to never let the reality of what you're doing catch up to you. When I was a kid, I dreamed of the future where we could all use jetpacks. Now as an adult, I'm like, I don't know, I, I can't even afford the maintenance on my Civic. Disneyland is selling sporks for $11 a piece. The sporks are from a restaurant in the Star Wars Galaxy Edge area. Used to be able to use the spork for free, but guests were then taking them home and bragging online about their new spork. Have I said spork enough times for it to feel weird? Are you also in disbelief that I've devoted this much time talking about a utensil? If you're annoyed about the charge, don't blame Disney. Blame the people who took the sporks. Not for stealing it, but for letting the company know that they care about them. The easiest way to keep things free is to never let on that you actually want it. Just act casual. We could all go to Disneyland if we were like, oh, oh, what's that there, a spinning teacup? I, I guess that's all right. Ah, I see some uh, intense roller coasters. I suppose that could be fun you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, a fully immersive experience designed to make me feel like I've entered my favorite film franchise? Cute. Scientists have discovered four new species of sharks that walk. You hear me? The sharks are walking now. This scenario was in none of my evolutionary nightmares. Bears with thumbs? Absolutely. Walking sharks? Not in nine million years. Which is apparently how long they've been walking. Evolution-wise, nine million years is recent and might as well be the 90s. What you're looking at here is an epaulette shark using its pelvic and pectoral fins to walk across the seafloor. These sharks are so swole, they use their pecs as feet. Not even Terry Crews can do that, I think. While they're mostly found in shallow reefs, they can also walk on land due to their ability to survive extended periods of time with little to no oxygen. This better be where the evolution stops. The last thing I need is a great white on Wrightsville tiptoeing up on me while humming the Jaws theme. I'm Wills Maxwell Jr., and that's what we missed.